Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruelty-free YouTuber with a cat, <laughs> apparently. And today I'm going to try to become more friends with the Natasha Nogna Retro Palette. I have used this, can't remember, I think it's three times or two times, I think it's three times. And I'm not blown away by the formula, but I really, really, really want to be because this was an expensive palette. So, yeah, I'm going to do a look with this today and I think I'm going to use these three colors. And, uh, yeah, I'm also going to try to do a video that not me complaining about that I am tired for half an hour. And I've been sitting here for <laughs> so long trying to start the camera, but like, I don't know what to talk about. If I'm not going to talk about how tired I am right now. But one thing that I can talk about, I don't know about my clothing choice today. I'm trying to use clothes in my closet that I usually don't use and this is uh, like a shirt dress that is black and white but I wanted to have something over so I took a cardigan but I think it would have looked better if I had something that was like clothes like this but I don't know maybe I should just open this the whole way or maybe I should just Maybe take this off, at least for the video. I don't know, but I, this feels like a little bit too... I don't know. Not me with black and white stripes. I don't know, okay. <laughs> this grows and in my ears today I have something new again. Yes, I know. I'm saying that I'm on a no-buy, but apparently I'm buying jewelry like a crazy person this is some leaves ear weights that are really really light and really comfortable and the little ear cuff from us and embla so yeah let's start when i say you so if i'm not going to talk about how tired i am and if i'm not going to talk about work i do not know <laughs> what to talk about and i do not know why I thought it was a good idea to record a video today. Okay, if you have heard me use this palette before, I have complained a little bit about that I think the colors are darker on my eyes than in the pan. So I think it's a little bit hard like to know which colors to use. But this color, it doesn't even show up on me. I hope that it was a little bit darker. For example, like this one turns out darker on my skin than it, it is in the pan, but apparently not. So maybe I should just take this one, but then I'm worried that it's going to be really, really dark instead. You know what, I can always Blend it out with the other shadow if I want. A nicer. Because I think this is too dark. And this brush is not a favorite brush for me when it comes to this. Nope. I need to clean my brushes as well, but I just haven't got a time. So, like all my favorite brushes are dirty and I'm like really trying to understand what is so special about Natasha Denona and especially this palette because I know that very many do really love this palette and it feels like it's nothing that is that special like I really need to buy just this one maybe if this is your favorite color story and you don't have that many eyeshadows maybe I can understand it then but like for me yeah, I don't know 
I did though buy it because it isn't like something that I have in my collection and I felt like if I'm going to buy an Natasha Denona palette maybe I should buy something or like a color store that I don't have but if I'm going to be honest I do not understand the super hype about Natasha I do like this it's not that I don't think it is a bad palette but I just don't get the super hype about it and I don't know if I have talked about this but if you may know last year I think I've talked about this I watched all the classical Disney movies like Snow White Aladdin Lion King and all like that and this year I've decided to watch all the Pixar movies and I have seen so far now I'm seeing them in the correct order like the chron chronological order so I've seen Toy Story, A Bug's Life Finding Nemo and today I saw is it called Incredibles in English? The Swedish title is Superheroes, but I think it's The Incredibles in English. And so far I have seen them once before. Uh, the next one in the line is Cars. And I haven't seen Cars because I think that came out around like 06. And then I was 17 and I had better things to do than watch a Pixar movie. <laughs> it was it like that. And I, I think that is kind of fun to talk about. I am born at, in 89 and I work together with someone that is born 97. And like to talk about which movies we grew up with. That is a quite of a big difference. Okay, it, it's eight years between us, so maybe that isn't so strange. But we can take like my boyfriend, for example, he's three years older than me. And we did not grow up with the completely same movies or kids show. And like music, and I think that is. Is that really fun to talk about? I don't know. But yeah, I, I think so. My colleague then, that is born 97, she asked me if I listened to One Direction when I was younger, and I was like, no. I'm too old for that. I wasn't back to the boys. So I think it's fun to like see which bands you grew up with. And I did grow up with the Backstreet Boys. I did love the Backstreet Boys when I was younger. Really, really loved the Backstreet Boys. Okay, it's now I don't know. Maybe I should go in with this. The light one. This one just to get a little bit more of a blend up here. See, I did grow up listening to you, Bessie Boys. I like The Lion King. I think The Lion King or Aladdin is one of the first like Disney movies that I can remember and I think that the was, Lion King was coming out I think 94. As I was around 5 and I really did like The Lion King. But yeah, so with the Pixar movies, they came out later because they're older than Disney. Disney's older than Pixar. So there is a lot more of the Pixar movies that I haven't seen. So it's going to be fun to see them. And where did I even want to go with this one? I don't know. Okay, I do like... Where this is going? 
I think I might take this one now, Grove, and then go in with Patty. And I'm thinking if I'm going to record something after this, but I really don't know what, but I'm like trying to do a talky video or talk about something, but it doesn't feel like I have much to talk about and I don't know about what. Okay, I don't know if this turned out a little bit more purpley than I wished for, but here we are. And uh, maybe this brush is good for this one. Uh, this is what I have to work with. And something I did today that I haven't done for a long time I finally cleaned my makeup table and put things back in drawers. And I have had some lipsticks and lip glosses and single eyeshadows lying on my table and I did finally put them where they belong so it felt <laughs> I really wanted to sit down and film because it's so much easier to do it when my makeup table is cleaned and yeah okay I think I do like the shimmers more I do like the matte ones like they're really pigmented and easy to work with but I do like the shimmers a little bit more because they are so easy to blend up in your crease but at the same time I don't think it's anything like super special that I don't have in other which I actually don't think that I would buy another Natasha Denona palette I think that Sephora in Sweden they did do a little fuck up they did release sold a new eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona that I don't think was supposed to be released yet um, it has happened before and they did it again okay you know what I do like this lids and I think I will do what I usually do post the video do my base and my eyebrows and my under eyes and just complete the look I think I will take this one on my lower lash line and I think I'm, I want to aim with something in my inner corners I don't know if I maybe should take this one or I think I've used this one once in my inner corner I did like it maybe I should take this one or this one I don't know but <laughs> I will finish up the makeup and then I'll come back so <laughs> this is the finished look and as normal nowadays I don't know about the lipstick I took Dusty Pink from LH Cosmetics, their magic stick. I think I would want something darker, but to be honest, I don't... I don't know what, so this is what I'm going with, so... Yes, this is the look, and... I do like it, but I don't think it's something special and unique with just this palette. But I do really like this shimmer, sh shimmer as well. I don't know which shimmers I have tried, but the shimmers I have tried, I do really like because they are so easy to blend up in the crease. And they do stick and they are opaque and they're just super easy to work with and you don't like even need to blend it in to the matte shade it goes all by itself so I do really like the shimmers in the palette so yeah I'm guessing me and uh, Natasha is going to try this once again but yeah I do like this look and uh, I think I just need to try to come back to doing makeup again <coughs> 
as it looks right now I'm doing like one look a week some weeks not even that but um, I'm trying my best so I think that was all for this video I did hope that I would do one more video now after this but I I don't know can you see this it's a hair um yeah I don't know what to do for kind of a video but yeah <laughs> I do hope you liked this video I I can just sh shut up and say goodbye so yeah if you're not subscribed to our channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one bye